What's up, y'all? It's your boy, True. On this episode, we pull up to my boy, Chef L, over at his new restaurant, Therapeutic Kitchen. Man, I'm excited. Man, y'all stay tuned for this, man. True to life of True. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, True from FMP Radio, popping up TV, popping up podcast. Hey, guess what, y'all? I just stepped in on one of the best chefs on the website. Hey, I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. Hey, thanks so much for having us here. Um, Chef L, man, how you feeling today, man? What's up, man? I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm we, pretty good. we are here at the Therapeutic Kitchen. Yes, sir. Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I'm excited, man. And once again, thanks for having us. Uh, also, shout out to all your supporters and the people that's behind you. Um, you, you got a, you got a big, you got a big crowd today, man. You know, slight, slight little big crowd today, man. <laughs> I do, man. I do, I do. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I appreciate yeah, thank it. Thank you. Love you all. You know, you have a smile, man. Right. Look like they eating good too. What they over there eating? Well, they are eating good. Um, we got some little turkey sub sandwiches, little fruit cups, uh, assorted bags and chips. We got some little drinks over here, water, some cupcakes. You know, just so everybody can feel comfortable, they can eat, and then enjoy the show. Yeah, man. All hey, right. Cool, man. So let's get straight to it. So, Chef L, man, tell the people who you are. What does the, the word Chef L mean? Okay. Uh, well. I am Chef L, like you just said, Lazaro Tony Jr. from the West Side of Chicago, uh, 32 years old. Um, I've been cooking all my life, but I didn't start at taking cooking serious until probably about two or three years ago. Um, and so when I started taking it serious, I said, you know what, I might as well go to school for this thing. And so I ended up going to school, um, and I just graduated from culinary school this past March. Oh, wow. Um, and so, yeah, here I am. Chef L's Third Pretty Kitchen. <laughs> Man, so tell us where all this started. Did it start in your kitchen? Did you have a little uh, Easy Bake Oven? <laughs> <laughs> I did not have an Easy Bake Oven, but no, over the years, you know, I've just been watching like my grandma, my mom, my aunt, everybody really been cooking all my life. Um, and again, I've been cooking for a long time, but I just didn't start taking it serious until I got a little older. Um, and we'll, I guess we'll dive into that a little bit more in a little bit. But um, yeah. So, so let's take us through Chef L, the person. Um, tell us about him. Where did he grow up? What high school he was born? Where, where you, is you a county baby? I don't think I'm a county. <laughs> <laughs> my dad is here, y'all. Shout out to my dad. Shout out to dad. What, what high school was I born in, man? I was born in Aurora, Illinois. Okay, okay. Um, you said what? Was in the world. Okay, it was in the world. Maybe we'll, we'll okay. have to call my mom and ask her. But you was raised here in Chicago. I was raised right? here in Chicago. What's that? Cool, man. Great. Two, two, two ninety. Two ninety. Two ninety. Oh, two ninety. Out west yeah. Illinois. No, for real. Um, I'm born out west. Um, I went to grammar school, high school, all on the west side. Um, then I went to college. Got a master's degree in criminal justice administration. Wow. Um, actually, currently finishing up my master's degree in clinical mental health counseling. Oh, that's amazing. Um, for sure. Um, so yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on. And I'm here now to just, I guess, give back to the community and just give back to our upcoming generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, speaking of 
what you're giving back to, you actually um, are on the west side now with a new location, which we're in right now, right? So yep. tell us about the process with that. Man. With the therapeutic kitchen. Can I just do one thing real quick? Do you got a couch in here? I got a couch. <laughs> I know, man. I'm gonna need a couch in one minute. I'm gonna need a couch. But I wanna do something real quick. My auntie is here. Can we shout out my auntie real quick? Oh, Lorenz, sure. Tony Bradley. Let's go. Shout out to my auntie. This process, dude, I can't even begin to explain. Um, what y'all what y'all sitting in right now is the product of the process. Wow. We have been working on this thing for how long? A few months. Um and we've been through so much, so we'll get three steps forward and get pushed ten steps back. Yeah. Get pushed three steps forward, ten steps back. But here we are now. But okay. on the brink of a grand opening. Yeah. Um and as far as giving back to the community, what I'm really trying to do is, so seeing that I am a therapist and I also love to cook, I'm a chef, I'm trying to intertwine cooking and counseling together for our upcoming generation. Because a lot of kids, they love to cook, right? And a lot of kids are going through stuff at home, they have nobody to talk to, they don't have a safe space to come to. And so what I'm trying to do is offer that for our children. Because they need it, they need some type of guidance, they need something to, you know, keep them off the streets. I felt like I'm in a therapy session. Yeah, right? yes, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All we, need, all, Mr. Masters. all we need is the white yeah. couch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, man, so what are the expectations for a therapeutic kitchen? What's the expectations for a therapeutic kitchen? Yes. We try to feed the soul. Wow. Right? With good food. Um, and not just the kitchen part, right? We got another necessity that comes with, you know, the kitchen. As y'all sit right here now, we're kind of like in our small event space, yeah. right? So we offer baby showers, uh, ladies nights, dinner parties, stuff like that. So it's not just cooking. You can come here, you can rent this place out, yeah. right? If you need to, to have, not the, I want to say this on, on, on the radio. Not, you can't have a hundred people party here. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Repass, no. Ain't no repass. No repass, we not have no repass here. But if you want to have your kids parties, I'm right, sorry. your niece and nephew party, look, you know, whatever. <laughs> you can do that, but, not a, none of those big parties. So, and, I'm sorry, wait. Oh, go ahead, you're good. Keep talking. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, he, he's sorry, bereavement. I am so sorry <laughs> to the bereaved family. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, so, um, when is the expectations for the actual grand opening? So, <laughs> I'll just take you through that process too. I was expecting to open October 18th. Then I said, okay, no, that's not working. Then I said, okay, I'm gonna push it to November, the, maybe the second or third week. And so now here we are, and we're the third week of November, wow. right? Yeah. And so now I'm looking, I think what, what'll make the most sense to open is when I go on winter break for school. Yeah. Right, so again, I just uh, explained that I'm getting a master's degree. Mm -hmm. And so the past 12 weeks, I've been in the books. Yeah. In the books, <laughs> right? So I've taken the last, what, three months to not even cook. I had to transition from full-time chef back to full-time student, right? And so that transition has been really, really hard, but yeah. this course has is 16 weeks long. I made it to week 12. So I feel real good about that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm um, so I'm now I'm thinking that, that the best thing to do is wait till I go on with a break and I can do my grand opening. Because yeah. I do want to start offering breakfast for, you know, people. Mm -hmm. So let's get into your the chef part. Mm -hmm. um, when you're going through the process of cooking and things of that nature, um, what do you expect from you when it comes to this? What do I expect from me? To be myself and to not be too hard on myself. Yeah. Because over the years, I've noticed that I'm very, very, very hard on myself, mm -hmm. right? And it's not until I hear, you know, words from other people like, man, you doing it. Yeah. Man, you doing a good job. It's not until I, until I hear the little stuff that I get to tell myself, like, dude, you don't gotta be so yeah. hard on yourself, right? Because everybody's not perfect. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be exactly right every single time, but be yourself. Yeah. So besides um, giving the encouragement from other people, where does um, Chevelle get his in his drive from? Where does it start? <laughs> where do I get my drive from? My auntie. <laughs> She's sitting back here in the back. Oh, man, she in the back. She my auntie in the back for sure. Yeah, man. So. Um, I also want to know um, when it comes to cooking, do you do you do you do you prep do you prep um, in advance or is it like on the go? So I do a lot of catering. Yeah, it could never be on on the go. Yeah. <laughs> my daddy know. My daddy be seeing me on a daily basis. 
when it comes to making these pans of food. You gotta prep, you gotta be ready, um, because then you'll end up, like I've done sometimes, be late. You don't wanna be late. It's crazy that you can admit to stuff Absolutely. like that. Yeah. that. I think um, as I've gotten older, it's much, much better to just take responsibility for when you know you did yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't know how to do that because yeah. they want to try to save face, mm -hmm. and that's not okay. So, uh, what's the most um, critical um, review you got? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that you could say, oh wow, they killed me. <laughs> it hurts your feelings, Doc. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What about them? I said your zeros. No, bro. Right? What? Your zeros. Tell me the story. What you talking about? When somebody criticized you because they were gay girls and saying that you were original. Original. Oh. <laughs> I got it, cause I don't. I, that's that me. That's good. So there was a guy on Facebook. Wow, and I ended up blocking him because I didn't even know him. Wow. But he got on Facebook and saying that I was uh, appropriating Korean people or Chinese people because I was culturally appropriating the Chinese community. Because I was making egg rolls and I don't yeah. know I don't know the time that they took to do this and what? Like, what ingredients <laughs> they put in there. It was real, real, real yeah. bad. Yeah. And I was just like, I was so dumbfounded by it all. And I'm like, is this man really doing this for me right yeah. now? Like he really went on a tangent real bad. And so he started trolling me like for three days straight. And I said, you know what? I don't even have to deal with this. So I just deleted him. Um, but it was real bad. Yeah. It was real bad. So how did you take that and turn it into a positive? Um, how did I take that and turn it into a positive? Blocked them. <laughs> I blocked them. Yeah. <laughs> I blocked them because I had so many of my supporters, right? Yeah. That I didn't even have to say anything under the post. They were saying all the yeah. stuff. I didn't even have to say nothing. So it was like... You want to get a history lesson on he was giving a history lesson <laughs> about I don't know where they got the shells from. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what they put. I'm like, wow. He was really trying to defame my character. Yeah, right. Yeah. It was ridiculous. It was really bad. So um, let's get, well, since we talk about reviews, let's get to the reviews. Um, you got some folks here, right? And, do. <laughs> and so let's go one by one let, to tell them them experience with you as the chef L. So let's introduce everybody. Alright, where y'all wanna start? That's the way it is, man. Alright. We're gonna start with my cousin Punk. Okay. She said, what's the question? Okay. Uh, uh, give his review on his shelving and his customer service brands in your own words. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Always friendly art. <laughs> <laughs> the food is always good and hot. Yeah. Good and hot. Some, sometimes we don't get good and hot. Right. Sometimes we get good and hot. <laughs> or no hot. <laughs> so we're gonna go next. Great. Right, the time he says it's gonna be ready, it's ready here. Yeah. You, you feel me? You feel me? Can I put a right here? Granny? Granny, it's on you. No. Okay, what's the question? Give us the review on Chef L's cook. How do you feel about me? How do you feel about cook? Well, I really don't eat that much of it because my husband is a chef. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> well. So it's hard, hard for me to try his, but I have yeah. tried his, uh, what you call it, the egg rolls. Yeah. And what else? What his chicken. Like? Which yeah. egg like? Which egg roll you like? Oh, see, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know you normally get your chicken. Huh? I said you normally get your chicken. Okay, okay. Yeah. But other than that, uh, it's hard for me to uh, try his because, mm -hmm. like I said, my husband is a chef. But what else did you try? What did you try? I'm telling you what I tried. <laughs> 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 she she said what she said. She said what she said. <laughs> she said. Right. I, 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 I tried his chicken. Yeah. When he fixed his chicken and uh -huh. his egg rolls and stuff, and yeah. it's good. To me, he's doing 
doing beautiful wow, with okay. just right. getting off into that. Wow, thank you. That's yeah, amazing. he really and truly is. And I see it and smell it too. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll be cooking there. Because he's right at home. Wow, right okay. And wow, I can tell you. Okay. Uh, yeah, but what I taste is very good. Thank you. And plus, when he fits it up, mm -hmm. you know, in the cartons to go to, you know, to go to the cartons. When he picks that up, it would be so beautiful. You know, you can tell that he can just throw stuff in. Yeah, bug in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't crying. Yeah, you don't throw it in there too. Then you can count away and just real nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was amazing. I like that review. <laughs> you feel me? Pops, Pops, I know you got one, Pops. Oh, uh, y'all had a whole lot. I'll give you one. Yeah. No, I always told him you, you had a lot of heads. And you served mm -hmm. all of them. So this is just an yeah. accomplishment that he been thinking about this here for so long. Yeah. And then I'm the one. Wow. See the food as it come and go. <laughs> Every single day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So uh, people, people get, they, they ain't never had none to start eating at the top by the time they get to the next uh, corner. Mm -hmm. They call them coming back, I need six more. Uh -huh. This wow. is I'm talking this on a record. Yeah. yeah. You know, so hey, Jeff Ellen in the house. Open <laughs> <laughs> for business. You feel me? Yeah. And Mac Man's got a uh, Max Old School candy. Max old school candy, yeah, my daddy gonna be so candy. Yeah, him too. Shout out. Who's next? Well, we're gonna take him back for last. Nope. Nothing takes. Yeah, well, I'm gonna say that I really like the egg rolls and they're delicious, the spicy ones. But what I like to see is young people young entrepreneurs get themselves out there and get started and yeah. you can tell his egg rolls are made with love they yes, are rolled in love because they're yeah. delicious yeah. they're delicious but i enjoy your made meal. with love thank you <laughs> <laughs> i like that oh. <laughs> at in the back you go speak he ain't gonna speak. Oh, he's in the. He's on the side. <laughs> okay. All I can say is. Yeah. This is the hardest hmm. working young black man. Wow. That I have ever encountered personally. I know it's a lot of hard working ones out there, but personally, and I've been around a long time. Mm -hmm. um, his food, like my mom, I don't eat a lot of it because I'm just not, you know, cold or whatever and I get. <laughs> but whenever I'm there and he's making something, I'll always ask, you have enough for me, just give me one piece, <laughs> you know, or whatever. And he make it right then. Wow. He know I like it fresh. <laughs> he know I like it fresh, fresh, crispy. <laughs> his tea, your stuff is ready. Yeah. And like his dad said, when you get it, it's piping hot. You want to eat it right then and there. Wow. Um, I tried his Philly cheese steaks for the very first time ever, as long as he's been really? making them. Mm -hmm. And I left my house at 8.30 at night because he was about to wrap up and I'm about 20 minutes away from him. And he made one for himself and I said, oh my God, that was so good. <laughs> and I said, oh, I wish I could get one or whatever. And he's like, come on and, and you know, I'll make you up one. And I came out of my pajamas. <laughs> And I told him, I said, I need you to slice me about three slices of it so I can eat it on the way home. <laughs> and oh my God, it was all of that. So I'm like, it's really, really good. And just to speak a little bit more on not, not just his food, I didn't really know that he she ain't know I was wrong like that. Like he did. <laughs> and he will cook, cook anything. He will cook anything. Yeah, I cook specialty meals, basically. But yeah. 
or specialty dishes, but he will cook anything. If somebody asks me to fix, I don't know, some fried rice, <laughs> and if I've never fixed it before, I'm not going to fix it for somebody because I don't know how it's going to turn out. Mm -hmm. Anything that you ask him to fix, he, I don't care what they ask him. He tackled it and it, it turns out really, 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 really great. And he do the bacon too. He does. My hat goes off to Lazare Elf Chef L. Lazare Cone Jr. That's my nephew. Yeah. But since he, you know, even when he was young and stuff, and, and once he gets started on something, he's not going to stop. Yeah. So I can yeah. tell when he was going to school. I can tell when he was going to church. Nothing stopped him. Him and two of his uh, cousins, they <laughs> all, which one was his sister yeah. and one was his cousin. They were young, wow. and they went to church every Sunday. And all of a sudden, his sister and his cousin stopped going. Mm -hmm. He never since he was young. Stopped. Yeah. So he was point. about ten. If, if it rained, he walked to it. If it snowed, yeah. he walked to it. Church, yeah. To church, he never stopped about, when he went to school. Huh? Excuse me, what about when uh, he wanted me to get baptized with his dad? What was that water? I was nine. Yeah, he was nine. Yeah, he was nine. 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 Uh -huh. It was over here. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. And when he did all that when he was young, he never missed a beat. When he went to school, he never missed a beat. Wow. So I said, were well, you I, I, I said, well, you gonna be something in life because you whatever you start at, <laughs> you gonna finish to and then he would he would tell me things, Grandma. He tell me about how he graduated. When did you graduate? That time, uh, Ruby. Which one? Which one? Yeah, he graduated. Uh, and then he'll come up and tell me, Grandma, this and that. And I said, well, keep climbing that ladder, son. Yeah. I said, you go, you gonna be something. Wow. And and when he was working, he was uh working uh. What's the name of the street that the what's the place he worked out west there in, in the Boston so Boston, Boston Market? Market. <laughs> he rolled the L, everybody was scared, he would get off. If he didn't ride there, he walked home. <laughs> you know, I don't care, rain, shine, sleet, or snow, nothing stopped him. Wow. So that's all I guess why I always kept him to keep it up, son. I think up. You gonna hit the top of that ladder. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whatever he gets started in, he, you know, he keep going. Yeah, and, and he knows that I'm very, very hard on him. <laughs> very hard. <laughs> and he'll Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I have to. Uh -huh. And I tell him uh -huh. all the time. I said, I do this to kind of keep you grounded, mm -hmm. you know, and keep things in perspective. Mm -hmm. If I see it's not right, you already know I'm going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it's it's <laughs> so, I just want to just let him know that all of my nieces and nephews, I love them the same. She do. She really do. They just have different needs. Yeah. So I'm there for whatever that need is that I can provide for them. I like the, I like the way you put that. So, <laughs> with him, 
just from the day I saw him, that my his dad brought him to me, and I we look out of eye, and I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> but just nephew, I just want you to know that you are everything. Everything. Yes. I never had children. And she don't have children, so that's no and I am just very, 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 very proud of him, Mary. Yes, we are. I have to yes. stick my, they say two cents, I have to stick a dollar in sometimes when it comes to him. Just to get it right. <laughs> but it's, I love you dearly, and you are all of that. And she does, and I yeah. promise you. Yeah.
give like a shout out to one of my best, best friends. Yes. Deborah Jackson Johnson. Yeah. 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 Um, she has always supported me and supported him through me. And all I have to do is just call her. It can be last minute or whatever we do this year. <laughs> yeah. She comes, she helps set up and all that. So it's you find it's hard to find friends like that. So I can just call you a true true friend. <laughs> you guys for tuning in but when you tuned in he brought his interview in the way he answered these questions a totally different way i can see his body language i can see everything so uh, when people watch this i'm telling y'all when people watch this it's gonna be life changing for a whole lot of people and for a whole lot of entrepreneurs like i'm on myself and to see y'all sitting behind this man like this it brings good to my life i can't wait to do an interview like this and my people behind me like this you know what i'm saying so this means a lot